Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio, spotlighting the city's best businesses and the people who lead them. All right, welcome back to GSU ENI Radio, broadcasting live from Georgia State Stadium Demo Day for Main Street Entrepreneur Seed Fund. And we have with us Miss Jennifer Scherer. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? We are doing great. Now, Jennifer, as the director, um, you must be so proud. This has got to be one of these highlights of the year, right? It absolutely is. Um, very proud of all of the founders who participated in the Main Street program. Uh, very proud of the team uh, that supported them. Uh, they've been, uh, they've had intense one-on-one mentoring and coaching. Uh, they've, they've practiced their pitches um, and they've all done great and they've really changed their businesses over the course of the past six months. And so this is just a day um, that we're excited about because they get to, they get to tell, uh, a broader audience about their businesses and and how far they've come in the past six months. Now, as the director, have you seen kind of the Atlanta ecosystem embracing your work here? Are you seeing more and more kind of involvement by different parties than maybe when you first started? Yeah, I think I think today is a is a great indication of that. Um, so we have about 200 people that are we're expecting to 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 attend, and um, then they're all people who um, have either already supported these founders in some way, um, or they're people that are interested in learning about their businesses, their investors, their corporate executives, their potential customers and strategic partners. Um, and so we have a a, a a huge gathering of of external people who are interested in what's going on here with these uh, with these companies and um and i think that uh they're going to be they're going to be pleased with what they see so now let's talk specifically about the main street entrepreneurs seed fund um tell people about it who aren't that familiar with how it came about and the future of it if you have any details on that yeah so so it was started in the fall um and it was um we were fortunate enough to get a, a grant from the marcus foundation um to, to start the main street entrepreneurs seed fund and it was designed to support georgia state entrepreneurs um, including students and recent alumni as well as community community members um that uh, were in, involved in some sort of entrepreneurship development program at georgia state um, and it was really focused on underrepresented, underserved entrepreneurs. Uh, and so we put out a call for applications, not knowing really what to expect. Um, and we received nearly 100 applications, uh, which we were thrilled with. Um, and the quality of them, we selected 21 companies into the program uh, because we, we had at least 21 companies that we felt uh, were deserving of being in the, in the program, deserving of receiving some of the seed funding that they're getting through this program and, and certainly the, the one-on-one uh, customized mentoring. And then uh, from this, now we're now at the finalists. Well, we are. So what's happening today? Uh, so they. So like I said, they've been through uh, educational programming. They've they've gotten to know each other in, in various capacities. Uh, they've been, like I said, intense one on one mentoring with with two of our entrepreneurs and residents. Um, so it's very focused on customized mentoring, trying to uh, work with them each individually and and help meet meet them where they're at in terms of their business development. Uh, and so this demo day, uh, what's happening today is there's been a prelim- preliminary round of p- pitches where all of the companies have pitched and where the judges are currently deliberating to select 10 that are going to pitch in the final round in front of a public audience. And, th- and from those 10, six of those companies will receive additional funding uh, through the Main Street program. And then this should kind of give them some escape velocity, hopefully a little bit to get to the next level. That's exactly right. We, right. we want to extend the runway for them and, and get them as far as long, as far along as we possibly can with this program uh, in the hopes that they get to get enough traction uh, where then they can go out if they need outside investment, they can go out and raise outside investment um, or they can just start generating revenues because they've, they've, they've got customer traction. So, so now um, in the whole Atlanta startup uh, entrepreneur kind of ecosystem, GSU, to me, is serving this group of underserved uh, entrepreneurs in a way that a lot of the other ones aren't. Um, Are you seeing that as um, you're making progress in that area? There's obviously work to be done always in that area. But what about in terms of recruiting more and more help? 
Are you finding that easier now, especially going through this kind of an event? We are finding that easier. I mean, I think there's a, I think there's a, a lot of people that are recognizing the opportunity that exists. Uh, I mean, uh, if you look at if you look at the numbers, you realize that um, you know there's a lot of um, a lot of brain power um, and creative ideas and and things um, that 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 live within diverse populations that aren't being tapped. Uh, and so uh, you know, smart investors uh, are, are are saying, "Wow, you know, that's that's pretty interesting um, that we're only tapping a small percentage of the population." Right. In terms of creating new businesses, um, and, and fortunately, Georgia State is, is well positioned, just given given innately our, our diverse student body and, and population of alumni. Um, and, and what we know is that if you put um, if you put resources and you put um, access to, to networks um, and you put education um, around creative uh, minds um, and, and motivated people, uh, then good things happen. And, and sometimes it's in the form of a, a new and thriving business. Right, and it is. Um, historically, this is an opportunity zone for people that they haven't been paying a lot of attention to, but it's a missed opportunity because there's so much diversity on the campus and through the alumni group. It, just these niches aren't that small. The people they represent, they, I mean, the communities that they're from represent a lot of human beings. So they're, they're coming up with ideas, even if it just serves that niche, there's a lot of business opportunity there. That's, that's absolutely right. So, and, 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 you know, I think there's signs you see. Um, so, so we're certainly seeing, you know, there's a lot of people here. We have a lot of uh, volunteers here today, whether they're judges or they're, um, they're just, you know, asking how can we help? And I think that will continue to grow because I think there is, um, there's a growing interest um, in, 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 a, in a growing recognition that there's, you know, we're missing out on some opportunities to do really good things for local communities for economic growth, for job development, all of those things. Um, and you're starting to see, too, um, some of the some new funds be est- being established um, uh, that are focused on on investing in, in diverse uh, uh, founder-led teams. And, and so, you know, those are all the things that need to happen. That's the ecosystem building that needs to happen in order to make uh, companies like you'll see here d- today successful. So now what do you need more of? How can we help you? So, so you are helping because well, we need, we, you know, exposure um, and, and, and media uh, is, is extremely important to get the word out about what's going on here. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we're always, we're always trying to find funding to and continue to, to support these programs. And what was wonderful about the, um, the, the, the Main Street program and the support from the Marcus Foundation is we were actually, um, not every program can, can give out money. We gave out, uh, the money was distributed in the form of grants. Um, mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's it, it's really nice to be able to um, you know give the founders that money. We certainly, of course, help, are holding them accountable for how they spend the money. We've put milestones in place that they have to reach before this, so we're treating them like a like an investor would right. treat them. Um, but they're not, you know, they don't have to worry about making their first loan payment, um, you know, a month from now when they right. finish the program. Um, and so, um, but but yeah, I mean, and, and I think you know the, the continue everybody that's working to grow this ecosystem and to support um, uh, diverse founder led teams. Um, we need to continue to do that together. As you pointed out, there's still work to do, um, but there's some good momentum and, and, and we want to capture that as, as much as possible while we have it. So now if somebody wanted to uh, learn more about the GSU ENI program, what's the website and to connect with you and your team and to maybe, you know, for whether it's a sponsor, whether it's somebody who wants to get their own seed fund going through your ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can visit us at eni.gsu.edu. Um, we're also uh, very present on social media. So. Good stuff. Well, Jennifer, you should be very proud to see this crowd that was gathered around us. A lot of people making things happen, and uh, your leadership is helping lead the way. Thank you, and thank you guys for being here. All right, this is Lee Cantor for Stone Payton. We'll see you in a bit at GSU ENI Radio.